let me explain about uh, uh, one of the important uh, concept in java collections uh, that is fail fast iterator and fail safe iterator uh, we'll see what is the actual difference between fail fast and fail safe and we'll just go some in depth dive of that let me actually uh, explain first fail fast uh, iterator so let me write here uh, fail fast iterator so i will not actually uh, go in depth of iterator concept so iterator is just actually which iterates over uh, a collection of items uh, let me create a so this is a program uh, where actually it will explain about uh, fail fast iterator so i created actually uh, a map a map program so here so it is a standalone program with public static void main and here i created a hash map so with key value as string and with key as string and value as string and uh, so i am declaring like this so i am using generics concept and i am declaring like this and here i am not using anything because i am using java 7 a type inference uh, uh, concept where which uses a diamond operator so if i just declare here string string automatically this will be taken on the right hand side as string string so here key is string and value is string and then I just insert elements in this map. So here the key is the employee ID and the value is the employee name. So for this particular employee one, employee EMP one is the key of the uh, hash map and value is the um, value for the particular key. So for EMP one ID, the name is Raju Ramu. For EMP two key, the name is Raju. Now what I am doing here is, I am just actually uh, creating an iterator uh, on the key set of this map. So, so if I just say uh, key set of that map, I will be just getting uh, a set of values, a collection of values with unique, uh, with unique values which, so it will return a set. If you see here, it will return a set and that I am assigning to iterator. And uh, let me remove this line. So now what I am doing here is I am just iterating over this uh, key uh, key set, and then what I am doing is I am just printing the values. I am iterating over this key set. Now here what I am doing here is while iterating this key set, so I am just modifying the data map. So what is happening here is I am creating a map here. So this is what I call it as map, my hash map, my hash map. I can say uh, this hash map, let me, my hash map, this contains So this is my hash map with uh, this is key and this is value. So in first key, I am storing it as uh, EMP1. So value I am storing it as some ROM. Similarly, I am storing this as EMP2 and value as Project. So I'm storing. Now what I'm doing is I'm creating a iterator. Iterator. So this is what I call it as iterator. So I'm calling. I'm just creating iterator on this map. I'm creating iterator on this map. I mean, I'm not actually. I'm not directly creating iterator map. I'm creating iterator on the key set, on the key value, on the key set of the map. That means when I say uh, 
and i said data map dot key set i'll be getting a collection if exactly if i just remove this exactly i'll just i'll be clear here so what i'll do is when i say so when i say data map dot key set dot iterator so what i'll be getting is i will be getting a set only with keys i'll be getting a a collection i can call it as a set now what i am doing here is when i say data map dot key set dot iterator so basically this is this this is not an actually just think it is a, it is a logical object think this is a logical object now my iterator will be operating on the keys of this set that means it is actually pointing to the actual data map object only so that means this keys belongs to the actual data map object only okay but this just just for understanding i am just creating a logical thing so actual object is your iterator object and your hash map object only two objects are there okay currently this is just a logical object so when i iterate over the set of these elements so that means so it is so these set of key elements are pointing to the actual object only okay <clears throat> now what will happen is while i am iterating over this hash map while i am iterating over this hash map as i told so this set of objects belong to the same hash map object i mean so this is just a logical object so i am iterating over the keys of this map and while it that means in directly i am actually iterating over this hash map so when i iterate over this hash map now if i try to modify this hash map that means i am trying to add one more key value pair to this hash map so what will happen is so it will throw a concurrent modification exception so it will throw a concurrent modification exception so let me try to run this program if you see i i got a concurrent modification exception because i am iterating over that hash map and when i am adding when i am trying to add a new entry into that hash map i am getting concurrent modification exception if i open this i can see throw new concurrent modification this is actually hash map dot class so if if i see this condition if mod count not equal to expected mod count so it will throw concurrent modification exception what is this mod count and expected mod count is so whenever i add elements into this hash map so my mod count will be to that means why it is to because i am adding two two entries if you see in this program i added actually two entries so this is one entry and this one entry so my mod count will be set uh, here i mean it is a actually total count of my key value pairs so so this is one key value pair and this is one key value pair now the expected mod count also should be when actually when i when the iterator starts so when i just a get a iterator so there will be a variable called expected mod count so even the expected mod count also should be 2 so now what will happen is now now what will happen now my mod count here it will be 2 and now when i say iterator when i when when i start iterator now the expected mod count also will be 2 now i start adding a new key pair so now my map my map mod count will be 3 but my expected mod count because iterator is expecting only two entries but here my mod count of data map has become 3 so that means so that's why actually as 2 not equal to 3 so i am getting concurrent modification except so this is how actually a uh, fail fast iterator work. so basically this fail fast iterator so this is especially used uh, i mean say in multi threaded environments say uh, now this is a single thread environment so in the same iterator i am trying to modify now there might be some scenarios in multi thread environment if one of the thread actually tries to uh, 
one of the say if two threads are ac accessing on the same data map object on the same hash map and if one of the thread is trying to modify the hash map and another thread is trying to iterate over the hash map so definitely the other thread will face this type of concurrent modification exception so we have to be careful especially when we using concurrent uh, scenarios in concurrent modeling approach this is what we call in multi threading we say concurrent modeling approach so for for those type of scenarios for multi threading elements this type of uh, so this is what we are using here hash map so this is not suited actually so for that in order to actually avoid these type of concurrent issues so we have to go for another type of thing called concurrent hash map so what what do concurrent hash map do concurrent hash map is mainly designed for uh, multi threading environment so for mainly for concurrent model approaches concurrent hash map will do so basically i'll not explain uh, in the in the in the in this video i'll not explain the in depth details of concurrent hash map i'll uh, take a next video and i'll explain uh, how this concurrent hash map works internally but as of now i'll tell you how concurrent hash map can prevent uh, this type of exceptions concurrent modification exceptions so same concept so here if i say test hash map test map instead of hash map i declare it as concurrent hash map i am again inserting the key value pairs and now i am iterating over the keys and i am trying to now update uh, this uh, and now i am trying to update the hash map now. now if i run this program see now i am not getting concurrent modification exception i am only getting the uh, so initial i am inserting ramu raju and in while iterating i am inserting another entry and if you see uh, i am just getting raju ramu but this is not getting printed here is here if you see i am getting inconsistent inconsistent result but i am not getting the concurrent modification exception that we have to remember why i am telling inconsistent exception is actual data map contains three entries that is with three key value pairs but while iterating i am getting only two entries i'll tell why why it is not throwing concurrent modification exception and why we are getting inconsistent results now if i now what i'll do is i will actually uncomment this line and again i take a iterator on the map okay again i take just how i have taken iterator on the same map again i am taking iterator on the map and again now i print this now if i print this what will happen is let me uh, comment this sop i'll i'll put only sop here so if i run this program if i run this program I think somewhere it is. So let me. Yeah. Now, if I run this program, so initially I got uh, Raju. ramu okay and then i am just printing after and after what i am doing is again now i am getting the new entry now that means in the new iterator again i am getting the new entry sekar raju that means again what i am doing is again i am creating one iterator on the data on the hash map object and again i am iterating now i am getting the new entry that is getting reflected here so what actually this does is uh let me actually uh, take another thing so i have an a hash map here this is my hash map uh, let me hash map with the uh, three key value pairs with the two key value pairs sorry initially it is two key value pairs with the two key value pairs and then now then i is with two key value pairs now when i say iterator iterator on this hash map so this is what we call it as concurrent hash map 
so so the iterator on the concurrent hash map will always work on the snapshot of this that means so a snapshot of this hash map will be created that means this is again another object okay this is what we call it as snapshot snapshot now what will happen is now my iterator will work on this uh, snapshot my iterator will work on this snapshot my iterator will be, that means my iterator will iterate the key value pairs snapshot is again a another that means at that particular time my hash map contains how many key value objects so those key value objects will be reflected in that snapshot when i at the time of creating the iterator on that hash map a snapshot will be created and in that snapshot how many key value pairs are there so two key value pairs are there so now my iterator will work on this two key value pairs two key value pairs okay now my iterator will work on the two key value pairs now while iterating now while iterating i am just modifying again the hash map object now which hash map object is modified it is not on the snapshot remember it modifies on the new on the original hash map object on the original so on the original it will add a new entry okay so let me actually So let me on the original object a new key value pair is added. So that will not affect my iterator here. Whereas in the earlier fail uh, fail uh, fail fast thing. So what is happening there? So there actually the iterator is operating on the same hash map object, and that same hash map object is being modified on the and that's why it is throwing error. But here, my iterate is iterate is operating on the snapshot object, and my hash map is being modified. Uh, that is, the original hash map object is being modified, which will not affect the snapshot. So that's why here you are not getting the concurrent modification exception, and also you are seeing inconsistent result because my snapshot contains only two key value pairs, but now my original hash map contains three key value pairs. But my iterate is operating on the snapshot that was taken. Uh, before uh, the new entry is being added earlier my hash map contains only two key value pairs at the time my iterator has taken the snapshot of the hash map and is working on the hash map and now while iterator is being uh, doing the process at the time my original hash map has been modified and now my original hash map contains three key value pairs now that's why what you what we can do is now now i will take another iterator on the hash map now now in this line what i will do i will create another iterate on this now this will create another snapshot now it will create another snapshot of the original object now this snapshot contains three key value pairs now, now on these three key value pairs the iterator starts working the new iterator starts working so that's why you can see three new key value pairs three the new entry is being reflected here so in this way though we don't get uh, consistent results but we are not getting the concurrent modification exception this type of uh, hash map concurrent hash map is being uh, is very well suited for multi threading programming in your in our concurrent applications generally our real time programs are generally multi threaded uh, programming applications so it is better to use concurrent hash map to avoid these type of concurrent modification exceptions so so in the next video we can see about how Concurrent hash map works internally. So that's all for this video. Thank you.